see about entamoeba histolytica first entamoeba histolytica is an intestinal amoeba coming to the morphology there are three morphological forms of entamoeba histolytica they are trophozoite which is the invasive form next is pre cystic form and the third is cystic form which is the infective form the trophozoite is the invasive form whereas the cyst form is the infective form here is the diagram of the all the stages of entamoeba histolytica this image is the trophozoite which consists of a pseudopodium outer ectoplasm which is clear and inner granular endoplasm a central karyosome peripheral chromatin granule and it has an engulfed rbc and these are the food vacuoles next this is the pre cystic form and the c is the cystic form which consists of a nucleus chromatoid body and the glycogen mass this uninucleated cyst later transforms into binucleated cyst and the quadrinucleate cyst so this quadrinucleate cyst is the infective form next is the life cycle there is only one host that is the man infective form is the mature quadrinucleated cyst it can resist chlorination gastric acidity and desiccation the trophozoite form and the immature cyst gets destroyed when ingested so that is why only the cyst form is the infective form mode of transmission is transmitted through the feco oral route that is through the contaminated food or through the sexual contact or with the help of vector now the development development in man occurs in small intestine after this quadrinucleate cyst enters into the intestine through feco oral route there is existation so the quadrinucleate cyst gets converted into eight small metacystic trophozoites which colonize on the mucosal surface and the crypts of the large intestine so their habitat is large intestine many of them are asymptomatic cyst passes in some people it can cause amoebic dysentery the entamoeba histolytica secretes proteolytic enzymes which produce flax shaped ulcers leading to dysentery dysentery is nothing but mucus stool along with the presence of blood next is amoebic liver abscess the pathogenesis is either asymptomatic cyst passes or amoebic dysentery or extra intestinal amoebiasis like amoebic liver abscess coming to the proper development in man which occurs in large intestine the trophozoites are converted to pre cyst which are then converted to quadrinucleated cyst and they are excreted in the feces this is the life cycle of entamoeba histolytica trophozoites are converted to pre cyst then converted into quadrinucleated cyst and finally the cyst is excreted in the feces next is the pathogenesis mainly entamoeba histolytica causes amoebic dysentery that is bloody diarrhea 
it is equally predominant in both males and females first let's see about the amoebic ulcer produce characteristically flash shaped ulcer it is the ulcer is it has a narrow neck and a broad base flash shaped ulcer the size is pinhead size to inches shape can range from round to oval margins are ragged and undermined and the base is made of the muscle coat next is the complication of intestinal amebiasis the complications include fulminant amoebic colitis amoebic appendicitis intestinal perforation and amoebic peritonitis toxic megacolon and intussusception peri anal skin ulcer amoeboma also called as amoebic granuloma and finally chronic amoebiasis which involves thickening fibrosis and scarring this is an image showing the complications of intestinal amoebiasis here is the flash shaped ulcer and this is the sinus formation extends deep beyond the muscularis mucosa next is perforation formation of amoeboma which is amoebic granuloma and then there's invasion of the blood vessels next is extra intestinal amoebiasis the sites involved are liver lung brain genito urinary tract and spleen most common is liver forming liver abscess let's see about the amoebic liver abscess this is more predominant in male than female ratio is 9 is to 1 most common site involved is the posterior superior surface of the right lobe of the liver the trophozoites occlude the hepatic venules producing anoxic necrosis microscopy of the amoebic liver abscess it is made up of three zones central zone middle zone and the outer zone the central zone consists of necrotic hepatocytes without the amoeba middle zone consists of degenerative hepatocytes rbcs leukocytes and they can occasionally contain amoebic trophozoites and the outer zone has healthy hepatocytes which are invaded with amoebic trophozoites there is ancovi sauce pus within the liver abscess so the liver abscess pus is chocolate brown in color and it is an acidic fluid has a ph of 5.2 to 6.7 this liver abscess pus is composed of necrotic hepatocytes without any pus cells and occasionally amoebic trophozoites next is the complications of amoebic liver abscess the complications include granuloma cutis pulmonary amoebiasis amoebic pleuritis subphrenic abscess and peritonitis or amoebic pericarditis this is the cross section of liver showing amoebic liver abscess the amoebic liver abscess next is clinical manifestation clinical manifestation of entamoeba histolytica it can either be asymptomatic amoebiasis or intestinal amoebiasis intestinal amoebiasis consists of amoebic dysentery amoebic appendicitis amoeboma or fulminant colitis coming to the lab diagnosis first is stool examination as the route of transmission is fecal oral route stool is examined which detects cysts and the trophozoites next is stool culture polygenic 
and axonic cultures are performed. Next is tool antigen detection using ELISA and immunochromatographic tests. Serology antigen detection using ELISA, antibody detection using ELISA, immunohemagglutination and immunofluorescence assay. The molecular methods of lab diagnosis include PCR, polymerase chain reaction. So this is the trophozoite of the entamoeba histolytica which is seen under hematoxylin sane and next the B picture is the trophozoite visualized under trichrome stain. This image shows the cyst of entamoeba histolytica. A is using GMSA stain which shows uninucleated cyst. There is only one nucleus. Next the B is iodine mount which shows immature cyst containing three nuclei. One, two and three. And the C image is the saline mount showing mature cyst that is the quadrinucleate cyst consisting of four nuclei 1, 2, 3 and 4. The other method of investigation is imaging to find out the amoebic liver abscess which is an extraintestinal manifestation. Lastly coming to the treatment of amoebiasis treatment is by giving metronidazole or tinidazole. Next is fluid and electrolyte replacement. This is all about the entamoeba histolytica. We have seen about the life cycle, about its development, its pathogenesis, which causes amoebic ulcer, Extraintestinal amoebiasis, then the clinical manifestation, lab diagnosis, finally the treatment of entamoeba histolytica. Thank you.